Y'all missed our conversation about swamp bass. <laughs> Anyways, we're, we are at Goodwill. We are at the, you can't see it over there, the Villages Goodwill. Um, in the Villages. So, we're going to go inside and we're going to film for you. And we're going to see if we can find anything that we can make some money on. Let's do it. All right, let's go. All right, we always check these displays that they have up front. And look at how cool that is. It actually has the, like the holder for it. And then we have this piece of Namaji pottery. It looks like someone donated it from their antique booth. And then, oh no, I thought it was St. Clair glass. But they always decorate in this store. Um, with like vintage things for sale. It's pretty cool. You guys know I love lusterware. It's a little luster teapot. Unfortunately, they don't sell for very much. This is $7. It's not a horrible price, but um, oh, they don't sell for too, too much anymore. If you can get it for like a couple bucks, that'd be better, but mm, I think I'll leave it for, for seven. It's really pretty though. That copper luster. Oh, gets me every time. It looks like someone got rid of their state mug collection. A lot of times Alaska does pretty good. Oh, look at these. Oh, there's a few of them. There's that one. And then this one. And this one. We can make a set. Those are really cool. Oh, will we get lucky for number four? <gasps> we will. Look. I need the cart. <laughs> lucky number four. How cool is that? And then, I'm kind of intrigued. What are these? They're bound together. Oh, forever newlyweds. Newlywed set. All right, let's go find the cart. This door displays their stuff so nicely. Look at this set Aaron found. Of this, like, cut to clear. Oh, it's $30. But you get the decanter and the glasses. There is some washing, like, dishwasher damage. And actually, it's flash glass right there. You can see it coming off. So maybe if it was a little cheaper, I would grab it, but... For that, I think I'll leave it. A piece of red art glass there. And looks like some fused glass bowls down here. $7 a bowl. I think those are gonna stay as well. This place is very, not very busy, but has a lot of people that are unaware of their surroundings today. Uh, we have this like wooden, thing. <laughs> How much are you? $5.98. You say ambassadors or something. That's kind of neat for $6. <sighs> I was telling Erin that the shelves are pretty filled here today and they're filled because they are ever so pricey <laughs> at this store. That's a cool star. $2.98. It's got seashells and wow, that's pretty neat. That'd be interesting to ship. And then we have this bird with the shells. That's really pretty for five. That's a pretty frame. Here's a pretty piece of fused glass. It's called Bluefish for $4. I think I might grab that. Everywhere I go, someone follows. <laughs> All right, we have some bins. What is this? HP, oh, a photo printer. I bet you, oh, it's only $15. I wonder what their return policy is <laughs> on photo printers. 
So here's an example of great stuff on the shelf. This one is $20. It's very cool. It's just a regular piece of art glass. Then we have these. These are usually made in Africa. $25. <laughs> That's a really cool piece. I normally do pick like these little things up because they do sell well. That one's only five, but it is initialed. And then Aaron spotted this really cool decanter. It's $30 and it was only $11.99 at Ross. <laughs> so, all right, I think it will have to be a bit of digging to see if we can find any, um, you know, missed deals or, you know, things because they're pretty good at spotting good stuff here. So let's see what we can find. I'll come back if I find anything cool. This is actually pretty cool. It kind of looks like fool's gold. And you got a horse back there with a cactus. It's five dollars. Actually kind of like this guy, but I've never seen anything like it, so I don't know what it would actually sell for. I'd definitely have to look that one up. <laughs> Aaron spotted this guy up here. Let me put my little thing down. This cat, it's so neat. It's $20. I'm just kind of bummed at all the prices because they have such cool stuff. Yeah, I know, that's a shame. I ah. like that guy too. <laughs> You're gonna have to stay here, little fella. Um, let me see. Oh, I was showing them this. I thought it was kind of interesting. It looks like it's heavy, like fool's gold. It's like right. a paperweight. I like with a it. horse How and a cactus. It? Seventy-five bucks. <laughs> it's only five dollars. Well, that's a bargain. For that's a bargain here. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, Aaron spotted this cat. Let's look at this cat. $2.98? I'm surprised. You can't pass up a candle, I can't pass up a candle. <laughs> Alright, um, and I did see, oh this. What is this? Snowy plate. Griffin Jones, $2.24.1978. For $3.98. Uh, the price isn't horrible, but I'm not digging the all the brown. So I think we're going to leave that here. We're gonna leave that right here. Okay. We thought this pig was pretty cool. He's got like an Aztec type calendar guy on him. Someone painted him with glitter. He's a cool bank, but I think someone purposely colored him in glitter, don't you? Like you think he came with glitter or someone put glitter on him? came with it. It's under... Oh, okay. He's kind of neat looking. I like him. He's like an Aztec guy with glitter. <laughs> but I leave them here. So I spotted that. I was showing them that earlier. Oh, look. Look at this little bird painting. I forget what those go on. There's a reason why it's like that. Look at the little bird painting. Four dollars. Someone donated their little birds. What do you have here? Lighthouse, family vacation, 1974, Williamsburg, Virginia. So they bought a little, oh. what's this up here? Oh, I like those, what's that? Hold on, let me move this. Okay, someone's, uh, is that a print? So I'm kind of digging it. Look at that. And then you got like little houses, pieces of houses. Here's one here. I just can't. I think they're little prints. Not saying that prints aren't anything, but those are kind of cool. And then the birdie I was getting. And we got some, oops, wooden shoe stretchers in there. 
Is there anything in this thing? No. They don't value you know what someone? No, someone said in in left a comment and said, "But the baskets, you can pass so many baskets." And I'm like, "You have so many <laughs> baskets. That's why." I'm like, "You just don't know." Yeah, don't oh, that's know. pretty. It's thirty four ninety eight. See the bottom. Nope, not intended for food use. So that's something you can go to like Ross or TJ right. Maxx and pick up. Oh my goodness. Yeah, but they have lots of baskets. So if you need baskets, definitely go to the thrift store. <laughs> Look at this wicker set. Wicker's very fashionable these days. What is this? We have Celebration, $20. And then World Bazaar, $20. All right. Then this store puts stuff up on their shelves and it's still for sale, like all that stuff up at the top. So we'll just have a peek. And well, I'll see if you can see. I'm kind of short. Looks like a lot of newer decor. Some paintings. I will say that, ooh, hey, they do decorate nicely here. Anything up here? Oh, what's that red looking thing with the red stem? Or is that playing tricks on my eyeballs? Oh, okay. Nothing crazy. What do we have down there? They made like a golf um, display down there. Oh, I know. Yeah, here we go. They have a golf display. This is like Golfville here, where we are. Hi. <laughs> There's a doggy over there. Toys. Oh, you know what? If you can find some of these old school Nerf guns or like the big Super Soaker 90s water guns, those do really well too. You found a crab. No, it's for the animals. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you gonna have Gump wear that? You see him with his little claws thing on. <laughs> oh, Halloween will be here before you know it. It's a fit of 25 pound cat. Yeah. <laughs> What on earth? Is it like a sea urchin or something thing? FAO Schwartz. It's a name brand toy at least. And we have a cheeseburger. Can't go wrong with a cheeseburger. Ooh. He's bright. He is bright. He reminds me of one of those crane machine I like it. guys. What else is over it's here? Giant horse. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. Oh, crazy. Is that Caillou? No, that's a girl. No, Remember Caillou? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> four. Each like day I grow some more. I, I like, like exploring. I'm. <laughs> There's a frog. It's got something inside of it. And a shark. Why I like looking through the stuffed animals lately? Maybe because they're just so happy. Maybe. Okay. Wait, another horse. That's, That's a, reindeer. a reindeer. Who's that by? That looks fancy. Friend for life. Hmm. Oh, is it for like the Elf on the Shelf pets? Uh, I, I bet know. you it is. Our Elf on the Shelf could have a friend. I know. I don't know how much. <laughs> All right, we got purses. Anything good? That has a B on it. Oh, Peter Rabbit. Oh, that's fun. Very fun. Oh my gosh, you could be extra fun. Double the fun. O M G. Oh my gosh. More fun. <laughs> that hurts my eyes. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, I'm not really seeing anything. That's some stuff up there. I don't really see anything. Yeah. Unfortunately. It's not really thrift store prices, is it? It goes by the location that you're at. Yes, it does. And this one is... This is a more affluent area. So, the prices reflect that. There we do. Well, let me see. How much is she? Oh. Oh, never mind. She's $20. Yeah. And then there's this green native pottery. Oh, there's a hand. Can you grab that hand? I'm going to give you a hand. Give me a hand. <laughs> Ten dollars. What do you think? Mm. You do okay with hands. Yeah. So she was fixing that display right there. I'm going to help her fix it by taking it. She's <laughs> got the little tray. That's pretty. There's that pottery again. This is kind of pretty. Bombay something something. Oh, it's a candle. Not, actually it is signed. I like that. Oh. So this place is crazy. <laughs> um, they have this temptation set. I don't even know if I can do it with one hand. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, this whole set is $30. <sighs> so I don't know like for resale how great that would be. I mean for someone that wants to collect that, that'd be great. But. Um, geez, for resale, I don't know. <sighs> I don't know, guys. That that camera thing, yeah. it's 15. So here's some of the metal stuff. And a lot of times they do have yeah. some neat things. So it doesn't sell for much? Like oh, okay, well, there's the electronic shelf. Well, I don't know if it works. That's my thing. Right. And I don't want to... They don't have a very good return policy if their stuff doesn't work. But anyways, you can always spray these different colors. Yeah, uncle would like that. But you could spray them different colors and um, make it match your own decor. That's why I like the metal aisle. Oh, here's one of those things Sandy tells us to get. What is it? You just replace the battery, the light turns on, and you can put like the little glass pieces on here and they can change oh. clear glass pieces or um or blah, 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 paperweights and it'll shine light through it and change colors i'm not giving them two dollars for something like this no <laughs> nope. so this is what we have so far i don't know if i even want this thing i don't know this is all we found so far. Well, we found more, but that's all we're willing. Well, we got stuff up front too. Yeah, to pay them. So, anyways, what else can we find here? Um, always on the hunt for glassy baby stuff. Always on the hunt. These are Martha Stewart exclusive MSE. Martha Stewart exclusive. We have some cut glass back there. Anything else stand out to me? I'm not seeing any. This fooled me though. Huh? It's plastic. It got to me. It fooled me. Alright, babe, you ready to get in line? Let's do it. Let's do it. Alright, well. What do you think? How'd we do? We got a few things. We, yeah, we could have gotten a lot more because they did have stuff in there. Yeah. But when you're reselling, that's just one of the things you'll have to take into account is where your store is located because they definitely price by neighborhood. So anyways, we're going to get this stuff into the car. <sighs> Be back. Okay, so we got everything in the car. My hair is a crazy mess and I don't have any chapstick on. Um, but we have mom's burning question. And the question in this video that we want you guys to go down to the comments below and answer is, what are you afraid of that's hiding in the dark? What are you afraid of? Oh, always been the boogeyman. I'm gonna go with cat throw up. I'm scared of stepping in cat throw up. Gump, he's always throwing up in the that's, middle of the night. That's so accurate though. That's scary. 
That's so accurate, Then I have to though. change my socks and wash my feet, clean the floor. No monster can be worse than that. Then cat throw up. Mm. That is a good one. Let us know. That's a good one. All right, guys, make sure you leave a thumbs up and answer the question in the comments down below. Let Don't us know below. Let us know below. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And we will talk to you guys again real soon. Bye.